welcome to your weekly reading. In this video I'm going to be using my Crystal Power Tarot deck, um, my Art Oracle deck because obviously I'm a bit arty and I love crystals and it uses the chakra colours as well. So I've got my crystals here of the chakra colours and my Capricorn t-shirt, what there is merch of all the 12 zodiac signs in my shop so if you want to go and check them out and buy my merch that would be fabulous as well. Anyway let's get back. Um, yes the art oracles as well to so link it to my art and as well a very unique deck I guess or cards or oracle cards. I'm not quite cool, quite sure what to call these um, but they're my own deck that I made and they're called the colour cards I've called them and they represent how what colours you should have like what you should be wearing and why because it's got like for example the crown chakra is violet it's associated with the universe it with the universe connection and spiritual spirituality uh, uh consciousness and it symbolizes spiritually wisdom creative and when you wear it you feel independent or the vibes you go off uh wisdom devotion, pride and creativity um, and the effects it gives off to like people around you or maybe even yourself. It motivates, inspires, uplifts and makes balance. And the energies it gives off as well is encouraging, intuitive, uh, considerate, raw. Um, yeah, so that is like examples of what it says in the cards. I mean, you've got different ones, of course. You've got your, because there's seven. I've chosen seven of the chakra colours to go for like the different colours. Um, so you've got yellow, indigo, green, red, orange, blue, and violet. And I'll be picking out a colour as well that I feel you should be wearing this week that will help you live your best um, energy you can for this week. So how I work when I be doing your cards is I use my own intuitive and I think about what the card is saying to me and what advice it wants me to give you. So it's in my tarot. The oracle ones, it says for each symbol it's got like a life, work and inspiration. So this reading is going to be a advice guidance reading of how you can like live your best throughout the week basically it's going to just give you advice and guidance throughout the week and as for the cards I've already explained how they work so also I wanted to add that I do do personal readings as well because obviously these readings are for your zodiac sign so some of them might not completely connect with you so if you want something more personal or a certain question you think you might want some more guidance and advice on, I have got a link in the description box that will lead you to the website that I do my readings through. So then you can choose out of different sections of different prices, if it's like one question, two questions, and I do readings through that. So go and check that out if you want to have your own personal readings. Hi my fabulous Alubras, let's see what we've got for you. Today. So what is the universe saying to you for this week? Let's see what we got. You have the Queen of Pentacles, I have everything I need to prosper. Okay, so I feel this, it's the Queen. So obviously she's up in her game, she's the queen. Um, she is very feminine and I feel there's a lot of growth with this. You feel like you're becoming into yourself a little bit maybe, um, or maybe you need to grow slightly. I have everything I need to prosper. Yeah, maybe you need to grow slightly because obviously uh, the Queen of Pentacles is a card of uh, 
it's normally associated with money, but it doesn't always mean money because it can be, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, good fortune or something that you want in your life. Um, yes, yeah, so you, you're gaining, you're growing, you are very inspired, but you need to think that you've got everything that you need, like blossoming, like there's a flower there, so you're completely becoming into yourself, you are developing as one, and you need to kind of maybe believe in yourself a little bit, I have everything I need to prosper. Yeah, so you need to think about what you're doing and believe in yourself because you've got everything around you that you need to use to become the version that you want to become, basically. Let's see what the art oracle deck has got for you. Let's see what we've got for you. Jackson Pollock, this fabulous artist. So, for life, meaning doesn't come with titles. So, you need to look a bit more into things because it's not going to be so in your face that tells you what you should be doing with your life, <laughs> basically. Um, because it's not going to be always so obvious. Work, if fame finds you, well, if fame finds you, keep working in it. So if you are doing something you love at work, or, I say work doesn't work, work can be anything though, can't it really? Um, and you feel something that you're really good at, keep at that what you're doing. Don't think, oh, I need to be doing something else. Just keep going. <laughs> exactly the same as that. Keep going with what you're meant to be going with instead of thinking, oh, you have to change it. Uh, sorry, inspiration. Chaos is handmade. Okay, so maybe you're causing a bit of chaos at the moment around, um, and it is something that you are doing, so maybe tone down a little bit, <laughs> and the chaos may, may be not so chaotic, or maybe you need a bit of chaos in life, um, and you need to get hands on with something. Let's see what colour card we've got for you. I think, I, know, I think I know what colour it might be, but I don't want to say it. Let's see. Okay, I've got this one here. Oh no, it wasn't the colour I thought it was going to be. Okay, your third eye. Well, it's interesting because that goes with your higher need to think about things. Uh, indigo, sorry. Indigo, your third eye. Uh, evokes intuition and inner wisdom symbolizes structure, order intuitively, and why you should wear it to feel powerful, important, and wealth. Effects triggers inspired upset, upsets, mm. irritates, okay. The energies, encouraging, insightful, responsible, sorry, responsible, theatrical, <laughs> that goes quite well with the chaos, theatrical, uh, fearful and conforming. So often the positives and negatives with the colour as well, because um, all colours have the good and the bad. It's not always bad, but it's just like something what is uh, like 
You always have a good and bad voice. Oh, you know what I mean, I think. Yeah, so they are your colours. That's your colour card, sorry, and they are your cards. Oh, fabulous Libras. So let me know in the card box if it links to, let's put them here and hopefully you can see them, if it links to anything. And let me know how as well, because it's always fabulous to hear. And see you guys later. Have an amazing week.